This week on Street Riding American Style, we set our sights on Harrington, Kansas. Population 2,525. Harrington doesn't just put on a car show, it's a car show and old school drag racing. We will take a close look at a 1936 International Pickup and a 1955 Old Rocket 88. But we're not just stopping there. We're cruising out to the old airport and taking in some of that awesome drag racing. It's all coming up next on Street Rotting American Style. Support for Street Rotting American Style is provided in part by BG Products Incorporated. BG Products Incorporated is dedicated to the development of preventative maintenance services in vehicles for consumers and fleets. In shops all over the world, BG Products provides the driving community with products and services of automotive maintenance. More information can be found on the web at bgfindashop.com. And Ren Radio. Ren Radio can be heard from the web on your computer or smartphone, playing oldies from the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. Oldies like Elvis, Chuck Berry, and the Skyliners, and many more. Nothing but oldies. Ren Radio is online all the time, on the web at wrenradio.net. They make you look dream and sometimes even wish these are street rods built or just owned by those who have the same passion my name is david wolf and along with simon cormick and patricia brown we travel to admire these passions these are works of art and are designed with the personality and the ingenuity of the owner in mind built in garages barns and even under shade trees in communities all across this great land of ours. This is more than just a hobby. This is an addiction. This is Street Rotting American Style. Cy, I've got a good one for us today. I think you're going to really like it. What is it, man? We're going to Harrington, Kansas. Okay. In the morning, right. car show downtown. But okay. then they all cruise out to the old airport. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 no. yeah. Are we doing old school drags? We are. Ha <laughs> yeah! I knew he'd love it. Jerry is the president of the Throttle Jockeys Car Club. Jerry, tell me, why did you have a drag race for a car show? Well, anybody can go to a car show every weekend. Right. You can pick one out wherever you want to go. But there's not very many people, places you can go to drag race. So how did this pop up for you? Uh, actually, we started this three years ago. One of our club members uh, is the head of the airport authority and him and the city manager offered up this for a drag because they're car people. It was a great idea. Does it help promote the car show? It, yeah, it doubles it. It's just great for everybody. What's the response you get from people who are attending it and the cars themselves? M most, I don't know of anybody that said they wouldn't come back. Right. They just want to keep coming and they want us to keep doing it. Are you going to keep doing it? Well, I hope so. If I can. It's a great show. If you guys ever in Harrington, you got to come out here. We're going to enjoy the rest of the show. I hope you do too. Mark, I saw you tooling with this thing today. This is very sweet. It surprised me that it was even street legal, but what are we looking at here? It's a 36 International truck with 58 Dodge Core panels on it. In 1936, the first successful helicopter flight was made. Mutiny on the Bounty was a hit at the box office, and the Boulder Dam was completed. So this thing is a combination of international truck and a Dodge. Correct. We're in. It's Correct. a mutt. Right. Anything else mutt about it? Everything. Like what? I mean, like first off, I don't know where to start with this thing. What all is involved here from other cars? It's an international truck, but it's got a Chevrolet motor in okay, it. Okay, you got Chevy motor, you got three things now. Right. I got a Linko transmission, which is a race transmission only. Okay. So it's got a, a fabricated nine inch chrome molly rear end in it, which is race car stuff from start to finish. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop right now. This is set up for drag racing, isn't it? Mainly, yes. Mainly. Yeah. But it is street legal. Yes, it is street legal. What kind of times have you turned with this car? The fastest it's been is nine flat at 150 miles an hour. 150 miles an hour. Now, okay, that helps you understand a drag shoot because at 150 miles an hour, you have to have a drag shoot, don't you? Yeah, on some of the tracks, they're kind of small, so you need something to help you right. sh shut down. So. Have you used it? Twice. Twice? Yeah. Because you need to because it's more fun to do it? Uh, more fun than anything. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. Tell me about the engine. How much horsepower? Uh, this has probably got 750. About 750? Yep. But the engine that turned those times is not this engine. No, it is this engine. So I had a twin turbo motor that made 1600 horsepower, 
but I'm having a little trouble making it live. So okay. I got some things I got to work out. Well, that's, I love Hillborn right? injection, but what you're using to keep the dust out is unique because they usually see tennis balls. Right. What are you using here? They're mad, called mad balls. Mad balls. A friend of mine, Mike, bought those. He said, this is what you need for those stacks and that's where they've been. So Kids used to collect these things. Yeah. You have kids come up and say, hey, oh, I yeah. used to have those. Exactly. The kids will walk up and they'll point at one and they'll say, I had that one. I've never seen that one. <laughs> so do you do any trading with them? No, I haven't. They haven't yet. No. no. Nobody's really ever showed any of okay. like that. <laughs> so you got a Linko transmission in this mm -hmm. thing. But tell me about the shifter you have. It's, it's a, unique. Well, it's a, it's a Linko shifter. Each each transmission on a Linko, each lever is a gear. Right. So you have it in first gear when you leave, and then you start rowing second, third, and fourth. It's a four-speed Linko. Four drag racing. Because well, yeah. It's speed. Right. And it doesn't it doesn't have any braking as opposed to like a regular car four-speed where you can downshift with it. Right. It doesn't have that capability. Okay. It just freewheels. It's so. Just, yes. So. So this engine pumps up some power. Does it suck the gas? Yeah, it, it runs on methanol. Methanol. So, so it uses twice as much yes. as quantity-wise as one gallon of gas, two gallons of methanol. That's kind of the way it works. What so. kind of gas mileage? Three. Three? <laughs> <laughs> so you drove it here, right? No, no, no. No, okay. no we drove it in a trailer. Okay. But you did drive it from the trailer to here. Yeah. yeah. And you don't you get pulled over by the cops? Or I've never been stopped in it. Well, I got stopped one time for doing something stupid, but uh, <laughs> not not just stopped. <laughs> so you want to talk about expound on stupid or not? Uh, no, we'll skip okay, that. Okay, we'll skip that. <laughs> He's safe. <laughs> This has a Dodge Coronet fenders on this. Yes. But behind us is another Dodge Coronet, almost identical to the fenders you have on it. Correct. This is yours or your wife's? That's the wife's car. It's the wife's car. Yes. And it is sweet. Thank you. And she <laughs> looked good driving it, I'll tell you that. I'm not going to say what you look like, but you know, that's, oh, well, you know, I don't want to hit on you. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But it looks great on this international truck. Yeah. But why did you put those on this truck? I wanted, I wanted a car looking fin on the back of it. and. I'd looked several months for a different style, couldn't find what I really wanted. Right. These just happened to come along, they were cheap. They were cheap. So that's where it went. So what came first, the International with the Fenders or her Dodge? This started coming together first, and it was pretty much rough together and was complete. Yeah. And then this kind of showed up and was in pretty bad shape, and we just kind of massaged it and made it work. So well, That is also, I love that car. Your, your rims. They're painted kind of a flat black. Right. But don't they didn't come that way. No. They're aluminum rims, aren't right, they? Right, right. Why'd you paint them flat black? Well, I've been to some drag races around, and they're really bad about the shiny wheel thing. Really? Yeah, they don't want anything to do with it. So They I keep just, you from racing? Yeah, they've told me I couldn't race, so I just decided I'd do it different than most people right. do. I'd like to have a set of the old wheels, but I'd rather spend the money on other stuff. So use the new stuff, paint it to make it look old. It, it worked. <laughs> Mark, I look at the doors. It says Skull Orchard on that. True speed shop or not? No, it's not. It was uh, it was something my dad would say as we drive by a large Catholic cemetery. He would say, there's a Skull Orchard. They keep adding to the Skull Orchard. The Skull Orchard. Yeah, and I mean, it's a graveyard is what it well, is. Okay. So, I mean, you know, it took a little while for me to get that, but it all came <laughs> together. And then it just kind of stuck, you know? I like it. It was something that it just worked for. So this is a memory of your dad. Yes, very much so. I love that. Anything else that's a memory of your dad on this? Well, he was... He was mechanically inclined. He was, he could fix anything. Right. And it was just, we just did it. I mean, well, that's all. Sounds like what you did with this. Right. Thing. Right. Make it work. Exactly <laughs> right. As I was looking around this, Mark, it looks clean except for the paint job. You know, it's it's just it's real rough. I think that's what you wanted. Correct. Unfortunately, it looks like a, a bird hitch on the backside well, there. Well, it did. Uh, yeah, but it's made out of Bondo. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Okay, a bird deposited some Bondo on your car? No, the painter. The painter? Oh, the painter did it. That's, he, even, that's even a worse story in itself. <laughs> but, tell me, what, what's that all about? Well, he uh, paints a lot of high-end motorcycles, uh -huh. a lot of high-end cars, and it just seemed uh, it seemed funny to him that it would have bird crap on it. So <laughs> he put it on there, and I was like, what is that? He says, well, we got to leave that. That's part of my deal. I said, okay. So so he put it on there in Bondo to make it look like right. bird smoking. And painted it. Okay, and painted it. <laughs> I like it. 
the steering linkage on this is not unique to drag racing. I see that more in sprint cars. Correct. But why'd you put that steering linkage on a drag car? I like the cow steering part of it because there's no steering rod and box hanging out on the front okay. of the car. The box is underneath the dash. So it just tightened up the outside of the car. It doesn't look like it can steer, but it does. Right. So. Well, it looks bad. I'm sure it sounds bad. And so as we always say, can we hear this bad boy? Sure. That'd be awesome. Sure. Guess what, guys? I finally can do something awesome. I got Mark and Chris with Creeped Out Customs. They're gonna teach me how to chop a top. You guys should see their work. It's awesome. They got sweet trucks, sweet bikes. But we're gonna get started on this thing. Mark. Yes. What are you working on? We are working on a 41 Ford. Uh, we are chopping at six inches. Six inches on a truck is a lot. Yep. You got big, tall doors. Now you're gonna have a soft chop top. What are you gonna do with the rest of it? We're talking about sectioning it. So that makes sense. So on a truck like this, you want to chop the top and section it too to match. Other he's got this much top, this much door. It might look kind of silly on this truck, but on some other cars like a Merc or something, that'd be pretty slick and pretty sweet. But the style we're going for, I think that'll look pretty cool, right? Yes, sir. So we're going to chop it and we're going to section it, but today we're just going to work on the chop. Yep. You're actually going to let me cut on this thing. Yes, sir. You guys have already made three cuts. What's going to keep it from falling on me? Well. One of us is gonna grab one side, and one's okay. gonna grab the other side. So it's a two-man operation then. Yeah. So, so could somebody do this by themselves? Um, you could do it. It's a good idea if you could if you could tie something off the rafters to like, be able to, to pull it up. Get a hoist and pick it up there, right. keep it from falling. You always wanna be safe about it. Cause what I'm thinking, man, this is a classic vehicle and it's obviously it's got some work ready to go to it and we're gonna get there, but yep. I don't wanna mess it up anymore. It's only metal, man. It's metal, so we can cut it and grind it if we it's have to. It's old school metal, man. All right, old school metal, <laughs> man. That's cool. That's cool. You guys got all these bars tacked up in here, and I assume that's to, for structural support. Mm -hmm. How do you know how to insert those and where to put them? First of all, what we did is we know that when we cut this, the front is going to try to come this way, and this is going to try to come this way. So it'll bend in on itself. Yeah, it's going to try to fall in on itself. Uh, some people, they go ahead and keep the doors in them. You can weld them in place if you want to. We went ahead and took the doors out just to be able to keep it cleaner. And this way, you don't have to worry about anything falling in. Right. And you're ready to go. Well, that's cool, man. I mean, it seems like it's a really simple process. There's really no reason I should be that scared of it. No. Because like you said, old school metal, we can fix it. As long as you're being safe about it, I mean, everything's tacked in place, everything's ready to go. Once we make these cuts, are we gonna have to put some pie cuts in it? What are we gonna have to do? What we're gonna do is we're gonna chop here we're gonna lift it up, take out the six inches, we're gonna set it back down, we're gonna tack on the back end to be able to see where it's gonna sit at. Mark, you said if we wanted to slant it back, we could make some cuts back here and push the front end back, push this A pillar back a little right. bit, right? Mm -hmm. You guys could fabricate this? Yes, we can. Dude, Mark, I tell you what, man, I'm a little freaked out, but you've kind of boosted my confidence. I'm ready to give it a go. I say we get Chris, and you guys come right along with us and check out what we're gonna do next. I'm out here in Harrington, Kansas for the Throttle Jockeys Car Show and Drags. Behind me you see all these street rods, rat rods, hot rods. It's going to be awesome. Guess what's happening? Part two, baby. We're going to run these bad boys. We're going to lay down some rubber. We're going to make it mean. It's going to be fast. It's going to be scary. It's going to be loud. It's going to be awesome. Wait for it. This is your 1955 Chevy? It is, yes. Are you going to be one of the first ones to go? I don't know what they're going to do here. I'm just, I hope so. What's your trick? How are you going to win today? Pedal to the metal. Pedal to the metal, baby. <laughs> what are you driving today? 1964 Dodge Polara 500. What do you got under the hood? Uh, 496 cubic inch. You're gonna go halfway. Or you're gonna go all the way. All the way. What's the trick? You gotta get ahead of the other guy. Get ahead of the other guy. You ever drag raced it before? No, I haven't. No. Uh, What's gonna happen? Uh, I hope nothing breaks. That's, that's all. A good, that's a good I, plan. I, Is there one guy out here you hope to beat? All of them. All of them, baby. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What are you driving today? Uh, 41 Ford. How are you gonna beat that guy? Probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here on the starting line of this bad boy. We got no tree, we got no clock. It's just one winner, baby. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna lay on some rubber, and somebody's gonna go home a winner.
Hey man, what brings you out here today? Cars, cars, and cars. Did you go downtown check out the show there? Absolutely. Do you think because of the drag it brings more people out? Oh yeah, this this show gets more cars every year. It gets better every year. They do a good job. My husband and I just got married. You just got married? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. No way, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Thanks. So do you guys have a car in town? Yes, we do. We have a 1955 First Series Chevy pickup out here. Right on, right on. How come you're not racing it? Uh, we decided just to watch today. We drove it, so we didn't want to break down. You know, it's easier to drive it than break it. That's right, dude. You're sitting at home on the couch wishing you were here. I wish you were too here because this is awesome. Old school drag racing, baby. Doesn't get any better. All right, guys, I got my t-shirt. I'm on payroll, now I got Chris, and he's gonna tell me what to do. Chris, do I need a welder? Do I need a hacksaw? What, what do we got, what do we need? A Couple different ways you can cut the top off. Okay. Um, you can either use a sawzall or a, a cutoff wheel on a grinder, just personal. Preference. Either or, I don't need both. No, usually a sawzall works better on the on the pillars and the jams, so you can get one complete cut. It's just um, a good straight cut. Yeah, a good straight cut. Around. But you can use a cutoff wheel. Uh, you need tape measure, soapstone, Get all your measurements, make right. all your marks. Tape works really well. Nice uh, face shield. I got safety glasses right here. Right. I got the face shield right here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and go after this thing. Absolutely, let's you're, go. You're not gonna slow me down at all. You're not just gonna at all. start cutting. I'll just this start thing. cutting. All right, guys, let's go. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna grab the saws off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna do this now. We're gonna get marked like we talked earlier. Hey, Mark, come on over here, man. I'm gonna make this cut, bro. Top line right here, right? Right there. All right, here we go. I'm lining up my bead. Kinda. And start cutting. There it is, boys. Top is off, baby. Don't tell Chris girls don't know anything about cars. This 55 Olds Rocket 88 is all hers, and it's coming up on Street Rotting American Style. Chris, this yes. is a sweet car. Thank you. Saw you pull in, but tell me what are we looking at here? What we have here is a 1955 Oldsmobile Rocket 88. In 1955, the first pocket transistor radio was made available, UHF television was developed, and the Jackie Gleason Show was one of the top programs on TV. You said Rocket 88 with such passion. Why do you say it with such passion? Um, I just love it. This is your car then? As soon as I saw it, I wanted it. Really? Yep. So your husband has nothing to do with this car in ownership? No. No, you, you thought it twice about that. <laughs> Why did you think twice about that? Well, anytime you're married, you oh, know. Okay. <laughs> so now, but this is a sweet car. Thank you. This is what you wanted, you yes. said. Where'd you find it? I found it on eBay. You found this on eBay? Yes, out of In Las Vegas. No, 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 no. Out of Las Vegas, it was red and white. And okay. um, we got here to Kansas. My dear husband, Grant Wilcox, uh -huh. he sanded it all the way down to bare metal. I, okay. He's already told me sanding because yes. he really put over 300 hours into putting the sanding on this. That's right. He did a good job. But Excellent. it was red and white. Why it did was. you want to stick with the red and white? Every time I go someplace, I see red cars. Okay. You know, I wanted something that spoke to me. And when I, I looked up 1955 colors, yeah. and this is these are 1955 colors, Caspian cream and polar white. And so I went with these. Is this all stock? Eh, I like to say all stock, but okay. it's, it's not. There's a couple things that are different. Well, excuse me, excuse me. That happens. Uh, never mind. Who, who would do that? That's just my husband. Well, that's your husband. <laughs> yeah. Cameo appearance. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, you're telling me, okay, I have some giggling about your husband going through here. Yeah. What is not stock about this? The AC compressor. Okay, AC yeah. compressor. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing? Pretty much. What about these rims? These rims are not stock. Yeah, they're not. Okay, so you went with the baby moon rims. I did. Reverse baby moons. Mm -hmm. Bigger tires. Bigger tires. Under the hood. That air cleaner. That fast stock. It was actually a oil bath to begin with. Okay. I'm looking at this front license plate. It says Oldsmill Rockets ahead with flying colors. That's right. Okay, that's not stock. So why would you put that on there? That is the 1955 advertising slogan. That is from that year. Yes, it is. So it really is kind of belong with this car. Absolutely. This Absolutely belongs with the car. Rocket 88, hard to find or not? Very hard to find. Yeah. When we did, we had to get parts, you know, the chrome is still all original. Mm -hmm. um, and it came on the car. The car actually, when we got it out of Las Vegas, was in pretty good shape. No, hardly any rust. But pieces, you know, the winders, the windshield wipers, mm -hmm. I mean, everything that had to be replaced was very difficult to find. Very difficult. Yeah. Very, very difficult or just very difficult? Very, very, very difficult. Okay. <laughs> so the, you got an extra berry in there, good. Yeah. Your husband also has his car here too. Yes, he does. What does he have? He has a 1968 Camaro RS. Okay. Do you guys go to very many car shows together? We go, during the summer, we go almost every weekend. Separate cars? Yes, separate cars. Okay, where's the romance in that? Well, we get to hang out while we're here. Okay, but not while traveling. <laughs> no. So having this car for a while now, any fun stories about the car and you? The only thing is when we were taking it out to our friend's house who worked on the motor, he um, lived probably 20 miles away uh -huh. from us. And so we were driving down the highway going 60 miles an hour. And the one thing I did notice that was really cool was that this car is so heavy that when I'd pass the semi, yeah. you know, you didn't feel it. You made him drift a little yeah, bit. Yeah, probably so. That's cool. But then when Gary took the wheels off, we found out that the kingpin on one of the front tires wasn't even there. It wasn't there? No. You could have lost a tire? I could have, yeah. But you didn't care because you were passing semis. Well, I didn't really know what it meant at okay. the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so go you know the definition, you don't care. Exactly. <laughs> you can flirt with danger all you want. That's right. I've learned a lot since then. This has been a really educational experience for me. I like this car. Chris, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can we hear this bad boy? Sure. Awesome. I gotta admit, guys, I was a little gun shy at first, but you can see, man, the thing comes right off there like butter. Guys, let's test with this thing. Let's check this out. Look how it works. So, Chris, it's gonna set just like this, pretty much. Pretty much. Now, what a drastic change. It was this tall factory, right. and now it's gonna sit in here, and we still have to section it. Guys, look at this thing. The stock doors are this tall. So we still got to section those doors right. down to make it all fit together and we can see why if you're going to go with this dramatic of a chop, you better go with a section two right. on this right. type of a truck if you're going to go the look you're looking for. Right. Very cool. So now tell me this, Chris, how do we fix this problem right here? It lines up great in the back, but the A-pillar is off. What are we going to do? The next step, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do relief cuts on this and lean it back, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut out an inch and three quarter here or so cut out the top, move it out, and then put another piece in here to fill it. To me, that seems like it'd be easier. Those relief cuts seem like it'd be right. a little bit of work. Right, it would be a lot easier back. to do it that way. Guys, I thank you so much for letting us come check this out. I've learned a ton. I hope you guys have learned a ton. It's not that hard. Of course, taking it apart can't be that hard. It's just right. a saw. I imagine the hard part's yet to come. Putting it back together. I can't wait to see it finished, boys. It looks awesome. I can't wait to see it on the street. Come check it out with us. I'm like a kid in a candy shop, man. I don't know how to explain this noise I feel when all these engines are rubbling. It's like, ah, it's awesome. Look at all this excitement behind me. There's tons more racing going on. It's a pickup though. How are you gonna win with that? Ah, uh, it'll win. <laughs> <laughs>
against this guy over here? Yep. You know him? Yep. How do you know him? Yeah, he's my uncle. He's your uncle? Yeah. He, thinks, you... he thinks he's going to beat me, but I don't think so. You think you got a chance today? Yeah. How are you going to beat him? Uh, traction. But what well, happened? I just didn't have enough. You beat him? Yep. What happened, man? Oh, I just got traction this time. <laughs> All right, y'all, that wraps it up for Harrington, Kansas. It's an awesome day. We still got tons of awesome going on behind us. I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy the action. Wish you were here, but now you guys know street riding is more than just a hobby. It's an addiction. Support for Street Riding American Style is provided in part by BG Products Incorporated. BG Products Incorporated is dedicated to the development of preventative maintenance services in vehicles for consumers and fleets. In shops all over the world, BG Products provides the driving community with products and services of automotive maintenance. More information can be found on the web at bgfindashop.com. And Ren Radio. Ren Radio can be heard from the web on your computer or smartphone, playing oldies from the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. Oldies like Elvis, Chuck Berry, and the Skyliners, and many more. Nothing but oldies. Ren Radio is online all the time, on the web at wrenradio.net.